Capricorns, Capricorns. The song that's on right now is Your Smile. So someone could miss your smile. Okay. All right, you guys. Welcome. Look at y'all, boo-boo. Welcome to Sag's Sun. If the crown fits, we're going to see what messages Spirit got for you today. Capricorn, Capricorn. Actually, I want to start out with these. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Capricorns? I really do feel like this person misses your smile. How could I resist? Okay, what's going on? Uh, courage. So this person's trying to find the inner strength to face their fear with confidence. Uh-huh, lonely. So this could be somebody who, they've been alone for a long time. What's at the back of it? Friendship, yeah. Y'all could've just been friends. This person could miss hanging with you. For some of you, I feel like you haven't seen this person since the pandemic or something like that. So they miss seeing you. Maybe you used to go to the gym and see this person. Or maybe you would see them at work or at your work. They would come in or at the coffee shop. There's some place that this person would come in and your smile would brighten up, to, uh, brighten up the day. Okay? But I feel like with this courage here, they're going to try to come and tell you that they want more. Mm-hmm. Ace of Swords, yes. With the Wheel of Fortune, oh my God, with the Queen of Cups. This person wants more with you, okay? For a lot of you with the Five of Cups here, they regret being so um, cold with the King of Swords. So stoic, you know? They regret not opening up to you. Some of you could have moved. I feel like something changed here. Either your, your phone number changed, or you moved, or your... Um, relationship status something here has changed okay all right now you have the nine of pentacles with the queen of pentacles okay so you busy taking care of your shit you want your stuff cap seven of cups that's this person not knowing how to come to you what do i say i can't just go to them because i feel like the, the reason the queen of cups is here is this is how this person feels but they regret being so cold. So let's get some romance angels. Who did I pull romance angels out on? I think it was Libra. Libra had somebody who, ooh, child. They wanted Libra bad as fuck. <laughs> okay? So, but they had to release an ex. Or Libra had to release the ex. I mean, I'm not sure. All right. So, let's see. Whoever this person is, I feel like if they went... If they were hurt in the past, they have healed, okay? We got deception. Yeah, because they didn't let you know how they really felt. They were walking around this king of swords. And they regret that. Now, for some of you, this person, they're going to tell you that they were married and they are now divorced. Mm, that's for somebody. They want to give this relationship with you a chance. Something about your smile is just... Whew. Okay, Spirit, what's going on for my caps? My kibbity cap caps. What's going on for my Capricorns? Okay, so we have getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. It says, as you reveal your innermost self, the bond deepens. I swear this just came up in Libra. So this is someone who, who wants to reveal. Yeah, it's safe for you to love. Express. Go express your love. This person's highly attracted to you. They like how you in your own world just doing your own thing. You know, you're not uh, trying to keep up with the Joneses. You, you take the time to focus on nature, focus on things around you. You care about things that other people don't. This person's used to dating superficial people. You're not superficial. You're not at all. Okay. So now they're trying to figure out how and who else got that in? Oh, that was Libra, yeah. Now Libra is divine feminine energy. So somebody could have been dealing with a karmic uh, or they're just used to dealing with karmic type of people. And they could have been wrapped up with a karmic or just got hurt by a karmic. Um, and that's why. They didn't let you in or they didn't show you how they really felt. Something. <clears throat> but that's what this is about. 
It's th this person's been watching you long enough that they know it's safe for them to love. Um, they need to reveal their innermost selves and go ahead and make this romantic gesture, but they gotta find the courage to do it. They could fear uh, rejection. I keep saying this, free yourself. This person need to get out their head. Yeah. They need to come up out their head. And since you're not the usual type that they date, they, they, they date people who are, like I said, very vain, very superficial. You're not that type. They don't know how to approach you. You know what I mean? Like, what do they offer you? Because everybody else, they could just offer them money. It's not like that with you. It's, it's purely about emotions or something like that here. Okay? So, uh... <clears throat> I'm gonna grab some of these. Actually, let's get the kit. I like this one. So he's kind of shy. Aww, Tinka Butt. What's going on for my Capricorns? Yep. <laughs> Look at them. They're coming. Courtship. And they go they're gonna date you. They're gonna do the right thing. This is beautiful. There's a four over this. I feel like this connection could stand the test of time. Let's grab some messages of love. Oh my goodness, longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. I just, that's what I, I swear, Libra's energy is just like that. I was like, somebody wants you bad. Okay. Wow. What else is going on, spirit? <clears throat> Wait. Wait. The timing is not quite quite right. Strictly sexual and forgiveness with patience in different pages. So I feel like, and that's what I picked up in part of Libra's reading also, um, with that three of cups. This person could have walked away from you, for some of you, or just didn't let you in because they was stuck on some strictly sexual shit. But that's what they used to. Okay, now, because you guys have been apart, there's been this distance, they're longing for you. I feel like it was the right person, wrong time. They needed to learn some lessons, yeah. They needed to overcome some obstacles. Unhealed wounds was blocking forward movement. It kept this person stuck in some type of low, vib low vibrational toxic bullshit, okay? But now this person's done the work and abundance flows to them. Or you've done the work and abundance flows to you. We have another trust card. It's safe for you to trust in this situation, okay? So uh, Capricorn, you're going to have to make a decision when this person comes to you because I see them. Look, this is the man, this is you looking like, uh, I don't know. But you see that brick wall back there? That's how solid I feel this relationship would be. Yeah, I do. For a lot of you, there was someone ex, um, interfering in this relationship. So it says lean on your inner circle during, during this time. What's this? Okay. The attraction you feel is mutual. Attraction out here twice. So, yeah, I told you it was the time apart that brought the clarity as to, you know, what they need. And your intuition, it says you already know the answer that you seek. This person could be gripped with obsessive thoughts. I feel like that's what they need to do, free themselves from what they're telling themselves. And just go slow. Take the time to get to know each other because you're very different from anyone that they've dated. They always date people where it's all about, it's like very transactional. Sex, money. They, they've they not had to open up. They could just be a king of swords. But you are not superficial. You are not materialistic. You are all about the emotions. And so just go slow, okay? Now, I want to look and see, for those of you 
who have a history with this person. I want to see if there's anything hidden. Oh, I feel you, even though we are apart. So many things remind me of you. Okay, what's this, dude? What we need to see? Ooh, finding out the truth crushed me. What was the damn truth? That they pushed away real love and held on to some superficial shit? That could be what it was. Uh-oh. Um, I couldn't let you get close to me. We both know I was, I'm was. i not the one for you. And it, yeah, it's, it's time for me to heal. Somebody needed to heal. I feel like they were in a situation with, yeah, I look for you everywhere. They, um, I blamed you, but it was my fault. With this free yourself and those unhealed wounds, it kept this person, for some of you, it kept them by themselves. They didn't want to open up to anybody. So that they may have had a lot of friends with benefits, right? With this loneliness and friendship. Because they weren't healed. There's some type of abandonment issues or abandonment wounds. This person needed to heal. And they weren't right for you at the time. But now that you guys have been apart, you've been focusing on yourself. And I feel like so has this person. I feel like some type of healing is, has taken place. And now, yeah, I can't make it up. Okay, y'all will be together again. That's what they're saying. All righty. That's what I got for Capricorns. My Capricorns. Now, some of you may not want this person back, you know. Um, but it would be nice to know that someone really, the person you thought was feeling you, because you know how your intuition tells you one thing, but the, the person never confirms it. So it would be nice to have this person confirm what you already knew, okay? Because I feel like with that Queen of Cups, you guys could be very intuitive. You could have known that they could, you know, this person likes you, or maybe they were playing hard to get, or I don't know. They come just as soon as they figure out how to get to you. Because for some of you, something's changed. You've moved, changed your number, or something has changed. So they gonna figure it out. Trust me. Queen of Swords, very. Uh, detective type of energy <laughs> they gonna figure out what they need to to get to you okay with this lovers here in the food they coming baby yep strength y'all could be dealing with a leo with this strength and courage or a gemini but they they most definitely coming so be thinking in your mind how you're gonna respond to this okay till next time